Hey guys, <laughs> Missy Kane here. So glad you're tuning in to Fit and Fun. We're gonna have a great workout. We're gonna work on core, getting tight in our middle, having a better posture, all good kind. And we'll burn some calories too. We always try to do that. And I have got a uh, firecracker in the house today, <laughs> Emily Strauss. Thank you for coming on. Good to see you, Missy. Thanks Busy for having me. Yeah. I love your shirt, Emily Strauss. I wonder where I got it. <laughs> it's a present from Missy Kane. <laughs> Teeny, you could wear the small sizes, but um, we've got a few. We're going to march it out a little bit here and do some arm circles in a second. But right now, we're going to pull up some pictures of Emily in action, doing different things. I think we only have a couple, but um, she's been working at WBR for quite a long time now, haven't you? Yes, there I am with Beth Haynes. Live at Five at Four is my main gig. I do mm -hmm. feature stories. It's so much fun. I've met so many interesting people across East Tennessee and animals and all kinds of things. Yeah. Well, what is this? <laughs> this is the theme of our show today. <laughs> Planking. And this tells you you can plank anywhere. I was at a story in North Carolina. It was snowing. And I told my photographer, got to get my planks in. So uh, I hit the ground. Oh, that's us. Yeah. With our biggest winter team from a couple years ago. Yeah, I think that's during, like, we're doing a tease to break. And we just all sort of hit the ground and hit the rocks. Planking. Love because it. it's true. You can do planks anywhere. You do jazzercise quite I a do. bit. Let's do some arm circles as we chat here. Um, but core is very important, and you do, you're kind of the HR person at the newsroom at Channel 10. <laughs> what do y'all do? Y'all have challenges, right? Well, we have challenges. We just finished a 30-day challenge, and what that is, there's all kinds of different kinds of challenges. Mm -hmm. So we did a plank challenge. So what you do is on the first day, you do 20 seconds of planks. Mm -hmm. We can do then that. Then you do 30 mm -hmm. seconds. Mm -hmm. Then you do 40 seconds. You work up to five minutes. Wow. Five minutes. Wait, right. five minutes. Don't tune out. We're not going <laughs> to do, you don't have to do that. We'll make Emily do that today. <laughs> But it, it just shows that if you work on something like strength, you know, 15 minutes a day, a couple of days a week, you can really add some tone and some strength to your body. Well, and since we made that dedicated effort to do 20 seconds, then right. five minutes, we're doing what we call maintenance planks now. Mm -hmm. Three minutes, everybody in the work clothes, hit the floor, right. crank up some music. It's a little peer pressure, but it's yeah, fun. Yeah, it's fun. Keep Leanne Bowman and all the gang there. We're going to warm up a few more seconds, uh, about another minute for some, with some walking lunges, I call them, walking lunges. And I've got my brand new carpet here from Noctrail Salvage. Isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. Because we would slip a lot of times on the floor. So I wanted to make it, well, it slipped. I need a little bit of a vacuum <laughs> here. A few more of these. And on this one, let's hold this lunge here, Emily, and pull our arms up a little bit like a yoga type of pose. Now, one of the, one of the photographers that Emily works with is one of my dearest friends, Jerry Owens. Love Jerry. And um, we were taping this show, but this is soon after when Jerry and John got back from Vietnam, which was just a phenomenal trip for them. Beautiful video, beautiful experience for them. And Jerry's one of the best. He is. One of the best photographers around. And he also likes to ride bikes with Missy. Oh, yes. Speaking <laughs> of that, we're going to push back and do a hamstring, stretch the hamstrings out a little bit. Um, Sue's really good friends with visually in impaired blind educational services, Sue Buckley and the yeah, Vibes Sue. group. Vibes. She mm -hmm. founded it. So she does tandem biking mm -hmm. where the person who's visually impaired rides on the back. Mm -hmm. The and stoker. Right, the mm -hmm. stoker. Then a person on front who's not visually impaired is the pilot on front and they allows the person who's visually impaired to get the speed oh. of the bike. Yeah, and we, and we have fun. My husband, Jim, is one of the pilots and um, get ready to do a walking program with Sue and the Vibes group where we're going to use um, Fitbits is giving Sue a grant. And because it really is hard if you th to get out and do some things if you're blind. If you don't have a core group and people help out, you know. Well, you don't you don't can't drive so you can't get to a place to work out. Right. If you're completely blind, you need someone to guide you so you don't trip while you're walking. Mm -hmm. So a lot more planning goes into it, I think, for someone with those challenges. Right. So Sue is a great she's been I need to get her back on the show. Do a little yoga. She did a great <laughs> job. Woo. She and she's so organized. Yes. She is much more organized than <laughs> I am. You know, and she says, Well Missy, it's necessity, but we're gonna do a few of these. What I'm doing is kind of warming up the quads here kicking our heels back towards our rear end, pulling those arms back at the same time. I feel the stretch in my quads. Oh yeah. Love it. Okay, we'll get down here and we'll show our thighs here being warmed up. Good, y'all can pan on down a little bit. Good job. A few more, five, four, three, two, one, march it out. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are going to do core workout mixed with some intervals of aerobics. So for instance, we're gonna do like a minute of core and then about 90 seconds of something aerobic. 
All right. Okay. So we're going to get down on the floor right now and show them what Emily's talking about, a good plank. So you guys follow me. We're going to get down like this. <clears throat> and I like to go down. You can do it either way. Yeah, there's different places you can put your hands. So I think this is the most challenging of the basic ones, Missy. Mm -hmm. So we're on our forearms. Our head is not down or up. I like to spot about four feet in front of me. Okay. And the main thing is don't have your bottom up in the air like this. Try to use like a board. It's called a plank. Now, so this like is, I'm going to show you can go down like this if you still will keep this part straight. So what does that do? Just, it's just easier? Or it's keeps easier. It's kind of like a bent knee push-up. Right. We're going to do this about 15 more seconds, which is easy for Emily. Woo! <laughs> you guys are good. Keep breathing. And when I do it. it, I try to concentrate on tightening my core. Mm -hmm. Is that the right word, Missy? Yeah, firm, just kind of holding everything in in the middle. But keep breathing. That's hard to do. Ten yeah. more seconds. Holding your breath is not good when you plank or really do any exercise. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to bring our steps in on this one. All right. So we're going to put it right in front of us. Okay. About like this is good. Okay. Good. <clears throat> and march it out. All we're going to do is go up and down the step for like 90 seconds. So just like this, just whatever floats your boat. If you guys are joggers out there or some of you kids, you could like make it a little tougher and add a little bit more pep to your step. Looking good. Can we put knees in there? Yeah, you could put Oh, yes. Miss Jazzy, <laughs> yes. We can do that. <laughs> Good job. And Emily has been, you work different places. You're a Bama fan. Don't be outing me on TV, Missy. I, I mean, I respect <laughs> Bama. And I love going to Tuscaloosa. It's a neat town. Yeah, my husband's a graduate and we have season tickets. <laughs> we well, do cheer for fun. Tennessee when they're not playing how Alabama. Fun. Just for the record. How fun. But what all, where all have you worked? I'm at my seventh TV station. Wow. I have worked in Birmingham, Alabama. Little Rock, Arkansas, Atlanta, Georgia, and Knoxville, Tennessee. How does Knoxville compare? Friendliest of all the cities. Okay. Friendliest newsroom. Which yes, is yeah. important. Great people. Great people. And hello to all the big viewing area um, up in Johnson City. We go all the way up there. And also, Crossville. I know the Crossville folks love Channel 10. They watch it a lot. And we call it Live at 5 at 4 at 3 in Crossville. That's right. <laughs> They're on Central Time. This is Central. I was on Live at 5 at 4 when it was Live at 5. Hmm. That was a few years ago. <laughs> Two more of these. Last one, march it out. Okay, a little water break because we all need to drink our water too. So maybe that's a goal for this year at your office place or at home. Keep more water out and then also have at least four times a day you're doing a, like a plank challenge. Because it doesn't take long. Right. Yeah, a few seconds here, a few seconds there adds up. All right, so now I'm going to leave the steps here for a second because we're going to show you <coughs> kind of a different method to do a plank. This time we're going to do more like this mode. And we're going to hold this again for about 20 seconds. So this is more like a push-up position mm -hmm. where your shoulders are over your wrists and your body's still a plank. It's like a board. And if you haven't tried these, I mean, it looks so easy, but if you start shaking, you know that you're using those core muscles. I'm feeling a little sweat here. Uh -huh. Yeah, these lights are helping. <laughs> no, I think it's on the planking. And we're going to hold this <laughs> for another 20 seconds. In between, what I'm going to let us do, Emily doesn't have to, but friends, if you need a break, you can come down like this for even like five seconds, and this is a great stretch for your low back. I have to do this. I'm really supposed to do this three times a day for my back. Would you call that a cobra? In yoga? It's a modified cobra. Okay. Okay, I'm going to come back up. Only about 10 more seconds for Emily. Aren't I nice making her go extra long? <laughs> Another five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, good job out there. Get on up. Little sip of water. Okay, we'll go back to our step. And again, steps are, you can find these at like um, a Kmart around, Target, uh, Walmart. You can find them. I've got mine at Power Systems you want to get a lot of equipment but you can find these at garage sales too oh yeah not very expensive like people who've given up on their fitness routine <laughs> <laughs> I, you can put it I, when i was at channel 10 i had a workout with missy kane video uh -huh. i've found quite a few at garage sales <laughs> <laughs> <She feels so. sighs> just trying to spread the love <laughs> all right on this one you can go back and forth on your step but because i know i'm with um flash dancer um emily stroud <laughs> 
We're gonna do a little kicks, because you'll be good at kicks. Now, did you used to dance? I was on the dance team in high school, sort of ballet when I was five. I'm more of an enthusiastic dancer than a talented one, but keeps you moving. And jazzercise has been around a long time, but it's still a great workout, isn't it? It is so fun, and what's interesting, Missy, is that there are high school kids in it, and mm -hmm. I jazzercise with a man named Bob who's 71. Good for Bob. So it's awesome. Okay, we're doing this for about another minute. Looking good out there. Anything that floats your boat with your arms is fine. Good job. Now you've interviewed some interesting people and I know one picture you sent, I don't think we showed it, but it was a llama. What was that? If you can think of an animal, <laughs> I've done something with it. <laughs> Pig. Tarantulas, pigs, camels, you know, snakes. How do you think of all your story ideas? You know, one thing that's awesome is that people know Channel 10 does straight from the heart news. Mm -hmm. So viewers send us stuff. And I also have a goal, tip to journalism students. When I'm out on a story, my goal is to walk away with another story. That's a great idea, yeah. So while you're talking to somebody, uh -huh. oh, I've got a cousin who does this, or yeah. my teacher has this neat thing they do, so mm -hmm. that's fun. That's a good way to do it. All right, five more seconds, or, or, or three or none. <laughs> All right, now, another thing y'all do, which is kind of tough, is side planks. We do, which it stretches that, it strengthens the oblique muscle on the side. Right. Which I personally have a hard time working that I'm out. I'm gonna turn this and not use this on this one, okay? On this, and we're gonna face um, this way first. Okay. So we're gonna get down on our carpet here. Thank you, Joel, at Knoxville Salvage. <laughs> I've gotta take you there after that. It's a great place, it's so now much Now, Missy, fun. I like to do, I do it all the way up here, so you show oh, that okay. other way. Well, I'm gonna do it your way, too. Show me how you do it, like this. And you stack your feet, and then do you hold your arm like this? I like to do that, or wave, say up hi, there. people. Okay, we're so gonna do it like 20 seconds on this side and then switch over to the other side. When I hold my arm up like this, that makes me think more about stretching my core. Ooh, good balance. Keeping too. it tight. But can you, I feel oh, especially yeah. in my the oblique that's facing the ground. 10 more seconds. Good job, everybody. I am, I'm working my arm too. Five, four, three, two, one. In between all fours, I like to do bird dog. And I know everybody has back issues. You've had back issues. Yeah. Serious. So you can tell me if you can do this. Bird dog goes like this. Is that so, good for you to do? Opposite yeah. arm and leg and just hold it a couple seconds. And you guys, we're going to switch a a couple times on your own time out there. You can kind of squeeze as you're doing it. But they say that it's really good for that low back area, even though you, you'll feel it in your derriere. One more time through. Yeah, the stronger your core, the stronger your back, the better your balance. All right, now we'll switch and go to the other side. I'm going to face Emily, and you're going to face out that way. And we'll come on up. Okay. Good job, everybody. 20 seconds, we can do it. This is a little tougher, I think. Well, just a different muscle group. You know, when we plank for five minutes at work, we change positions the whole time. It's kind of oh, like okay. when you're starting to feel a little shaky in one position, Ten seconds. change into another position. Just We do it where you don't drop your knees. Just keep planking, but just change positions. So I like this one because it's a different part Four, of your core. Three, two, one. Back um, like this and in between. This is what I was going to show you. See if you can do this. Because I know Emily has to be, she can do certain things with the back and certain things you can't. I'm going to go like this and stretch a second. I can't do that. Okay, I'm going to let her do a plank. Yeah, my back is fused, Yes, which is no big deal, except I can't bend it. Or how about turn issues? Turn issues, bad. Yeah. But see, you, I think with you, you had, she had an accident ba way back in high school, but I bet if you hadn't stayed fit, it would your back would be posing a lot more problems. Well, I was a dancer during that car wreck when I was 17, right. which helped. And then I've been very proactive since then, but... Here's the thing, because my back is fused, there's a lot of core work I can't do. Right, but you can do this. Right, I can't do crunches, but planks mm -hmm. are awesome. And it works your tummy. Five more seconds, and Emily's strong. You can tell, guys, like I said she could do five minutes, but we're doing five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, a little water break. And I'm, I'm sporting, you're sporting, a, I'm sporting the West High Swim Team. My daughter's a swimmer. My oldest was a runner, and I think... Parents, kids out there, I think it's great 
to find some sport you enjoy and you're good at. And swimming is a great sport because it develops your lungs. And I'm not a swimmer, but Gracie does really well in swimming, so I'm glad she's on the swim team. So she does a couple different sports. Um, she's not a year-round swimmer yet, but give her time. Probably next year we might be. Okay. All right, we're going to do some low impact moves this time. Okay. Because, um, and I showed you a little bit of the Missy move if you want to try it. All right. All right, I'm going to kind of get a half step ahead of you so you can see me. Not that you have to see me. Okay, okay so it looks like this. I'm going to watch you once. It's, yeah, watch me once. Because step behind, step in front, step, kick, step, kick, step behind, step in front, step, kick, step. Step behind, in front, two kicks. Behind, in front, two kicks. You're doing a little ball change move yes. in there, Missy. Step ball change, <laughs> two times. Step behind, step in front. It's kind of like a grapevine. Step behind, step in front, step, kick twice. Step behind, step in front, step. Two more times. Step behind, step in front, step, kick. One more time. Step behind, step. Good job. All right, now just standing here, all we're gonna do is kind of like you're doing a crunch. But we're doing a standing crunch, and you can do these, right? Yep. Good job. Whew. And behind the scenes, you guys have a lot of fun behind the scenes, too. Well, <laughs> Russell and Beth, I mean, people say, I just love to watch them because they're so funny. And Emily, they too, because they're just laughing at themselves sometimes. They are. And the, <laughs> the question I get asked probably the most is, is Todd Howell really that nice? He is. The answer is yes. <laughs> Opie Taylor is nice all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's just the nicest man. Yeah, and Russell and Beth, Todd, Rachel and I have a lot of fun together. And the behind the scenes crew there, you oh, probably yeah. heard Foxy laugh. Foxy Fox has been on the show. Yes. <laughs> Eric, Eric Fox, Fox has got that laugh. Four more times. Three, two, one. Good job. March it out. Um, all right, we're going to go back to some planking. We're going to go back to a regular plank. I'm going to show you all a change you could do. So I'm going to get weights, and you're not. Okay. okay? Missy's taking it up a level. I'm well, just regular. Actually, um, this will, for some people that want to add something to it, really what Emily does is harder because she's just holding it the whole time. We're going to get back in that plank stance. So I'm going to be like this, and we're going to do this for about 20 seconds. A variation, if you have weights, guys, is I'm going to do two on one side, two on the other. Missy, what do you think about the form of just using the weights and not lifting them? Is that easier on your wrists or harder? You know what? I think it is easier because mm -hmm. at my age, I have some um, issues right. with my with thumb. It. Okay. And this does feel better, to be honest with you. Even if you didn't lift them, it might Even be Even if you didn't lift them, I'll let you try it on the next one. Okay. One more time. Okay, now, in between all fours, we're going to go back to that bird dog. Again, this is um, an exercise that a therapist gave me at one point with some low back issues. Opposite arm and leg, hold it a few seconds. Switch your root. Good job. You know, and like Emily mentioned before, the better your core is, the better for your back. Yeah. They say a lot of the back problems that we have in America is because our core in the front, our abs, um, we have got the belly fat and then no muscle, and that's going to pull on that low back. Yep. Last one. I want right. to do a stretch right here. I want to do like a, sort of a modified child's pose. Oh, yeah, that's good. I can feel that stretch in my lower back. <laughs> what do you think? This is good for my, this is good for my quads and my knees because my knees have been injured before, and I need to get better range of motion. That is good. A few more seconds, guys. And back to that plank position one more time through this. You want to try that and see see how that feels for you. Just to hold it like that. Is that easier on your wrist or it feels the same? It's the same to me, it but I don't have wrist see, problems. Yeah, I do. I have wrist problems. Okay, I'm going to take it back. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not lifting them. Notice that much. <laughs> but I think it, for me it's... All right, about 15 more seconds. And if you want to try this, you can do two on one side, kind of getting your triceps involved. And what Emily and the group does also at Channel 10 is besides the planks, you all walk the steps up. Huh? You've got Sounds. a lot of steps there. Yeah, we've got a lot of steps up the back. We do hum or sometimes sing the thing to Rocky. <laughs> it's a motivator. Five more seconds. Three, 
two, one, relax. Okay, a little water break. And we'll see how much time we have left. We've got about six more minutes left. Whew. Are you sweating, ma'am? I'm sweating. Yes. A good sweat. Bad hair day. Oh, me too. I've got to get to salon massage. My roots are showing when I look at uh, our camera, our cheating camera in here. That's terrible when you get so busy you can't get your hair done. <laughs> but you know that feeling. Yeah, You're yeah. really busy. I wasn't thinking getting it done. I was thinking just brushing it's going to help. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to pull our steps back here on front like this. And what we're going to do on this one, Emily, I just want you to go back and forth like this. Kind of like we did the warm-up part. Okay, just up a step. Kind of getting our quads involved. I feel that stretch. Oh, yeah. Love stretches. Good job. Well, I have, you know, with my new U team and some teams, if I don't do a class or if I'm with somebody else, I'm more likely to stretch in a group than by myself. I think I'll I'm more likely to do anything in a group than I am by myself. Because I'll just, oh, uh, I walked, I don't need to stretch. And I do. A few more. And hold this one, hold it up. Try to get that calf flat in the back. So you're feeling your hip flexor, but also your calf in the back and your shoulders up. Good job. And switch your other side. And pull it up. And again, remember that heel, try to keep it flat and arms lifted up next to your ears. Good job, everybody. All right, we've got time for one more set of planks. We're going right. to use our steps here. Okay. I'm going to let you go up like you do. We'll show you different kinds again. If you want to go like this, we'll do it for about 20 seconds. I'm going to go down like this. We'll show you both ways. You can choose which way. I think one thing is to try to make your shoulders not be involved. Mm -hmm. Like kind of relax your shoulders. Does right. that make sense? You yeah, should feel yeah, like your that core, not your arms so much. And it's really, if you think about it, three or four minutes of core every other day, you would really feel a big difference. You really I'm could. telling you, in that month, we went from 20 seconds to five minutes. You can just, I mean, you can feel it just walking around. You feel stronger. Five more seconds. Flush Four. your jeans, but a little Three, bit better. Two, one. Good job. All right, now we're going to do two different stretches. Emily's going to do child pose, if okay. you can have room to do that. And I'm going to do the modified cobra. Because these are both things that we have been told to do that are good. This is for my low back because I lifted too heavy a weight one time with kettlebell and I strained it. So Mark, one of the PTs told me to do this a couple times a day. And child's pose is also really good for low back. Okay, back up here and we're gonna stretch out a little bit more. We're gonna bring one foot in like this, Emily. And if you kind of push down like that, you can feel it a little mm -hmm. bit here. I'm sweating. But it's a good sweat. That, good sweat. But I find when I, um, if I do my core, and I see some of my friends that do yoga, that don't even lift weights, but you get definition by doing that. Yes. Yeah. Beth Haynes, who you saw in the picture earlier, uh -huh. she does a bar routine, mm -hmm. which is holding positions, like ballet positions. Kind She's so toned. Kind of like Pilates, isn't it? Yeah, it is kind a similar. Bit. Other side. It's just finding what you want to do and you're going to stick with, right? That's consistency. Very important. And lean back a little bit. You're going to feel it in your hip flexor here. Good job. And if you guys want more information, too, you can find me on Facebook, Missy Fit and Fun, who's going to be on the show. And also, if you want things about hiking and biking and all that, I've uh, got a couple things we can mail out to you or you can see it online. Because that's one of my passions is, is biking and all that. You've gotten on a bike before with vibes, didn't you? Yeah, she made fun of me because it was the first time I did a story with her on these high heel boots on. So she challenged me to do it. So I've ridden a tandem bike in high heel boots. Okay, only Not the best idea. Only in me. Okay, we're going to get up and do a little bit more of a hamstring stretch. Feel it back in there. Good stretch, girl. You're flexible, you dancer, you. <laughs> I'm not, though. I have to work on it, but that feels really good mm -hmm. in the hamstring. And other side. And lean forward. You'll feel a good stretch there. Good job. I 
I don't know, Todd Howell, he would be fun on the show. He would be, you know, he is an athlete. He is, his boys, I know. Well, they and get it from their dad. Well, their yeah. kid, their, his wife is also athletic. Yes. But yeah, Todd, he can play any sport. Okay, guys, last stretch is a partner stretch. So come over oh. here to Lister, and then we're going to pull that outside heel up outside and stretch heel? our partner set. And I can feel it. Oh, yeah. But see, you know, Ooh. I'm a lot better now because of being warmed up than I would if I tried to do this cold. Yeah, I can pull, pull Switch my Switch around on the side. Thanks nice. so much, Emily Stroud, for being on. We are a lovely flexible. job. I know. Ah. Remember, life is more fun when you're fit. <laughs> Keep working out. Do those planks. Woo. Build up to five minutes like this guy. See you next time, guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can feel it. Okay, switch back around. And big arm circles. 